All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm really interested in this one. I heard that they're back and they're asking for money this time around. Uh, the day before developers are back, um, I did see a, I think it was a tweet of the uh, the developer or the someone who was part of the company um, saying that like everyone deserves a second chance. It's interesting that they are saying that. Usually it's people who are trying to like defend them will say that. Not the one who's usually, not the one who people are accusing are the ones who say that. So it's kind of interesting about that. But anyway, let's see uh, what they got to do here. I bet you didn't see this coming, but the developers of the failed the day before are back and once again asking for your money. That's amazing. In December 2023, the day before, a long-awaited, highly anticipated survival shooter was released by Fantastic after years of development. It quickly turned out, however, to be nothing short of a scam, with the game launching in a miserable state, after which Fantastic pulled it offline and shut down the studio after just a week. Now, almost a year since the studio disappeared, the team is back with Fantastic 2.0. Before we get started and into this, let's highlight that this is the same developer who said shit happens on social media when their game was taken offline last time. But now, in a somewhat shocking post online, the Fantastic team returned, stating that, quote, everyone deserves a second chance. They posted a link to a new game called Escape Factory and stressed that they're planning to fix their past mistakes. By past mistakes, they obviously mean the swindling of thousands of gamers that left them a laughing stock of the gaming community. And they're also back on the scene with a Kickstarter that they're putting together to generate funds. We deserve a second chance and we'll make things right. Give us $15,000, please. Are, are you kidding? And people are pledging. What? No, there's no way. How much is it at right now? This thing's at $3,000. What the? The goal went up? Oh wait, it's Canadian. Okay, I was about to wait. Does that does that even convert properly? Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on a minute here. Fifty six. Okay, it does convert properly. I was about to say this. They shot up the goal, but it's because it's in Canadian dollars. Okay. Um, right now they're at thirty two hundred Canadian. Uh, for our Americans, that's twenty. They're at twenty three hundred dollars. It's to make more games, including the one we just named, and we're not kidding. They're really out there asking for fan funding again. And at the time of recording this video, the Kickstarter has made a whopping $456 out of a goal of $15,567. Because random. But they do have some nice perks. If you decide to back their campaign with a $12,000 donation, you'll get what they call an unforgettable dinner with the founders of Fantastic. <laughs> but all that aside, let's be perfectly honest here. This. <laughs> If you donate, how much? 12, 12,000? I gotta see this Kickstarter. What was the amount? $12,000 donation. Enjoy an unforgettable dinner with the, uh, the founders of Fantastic. Details will uh, to be discussed uh, via Zoom call. As a token appreciation, you'll, uh, you'll be named as the special special sponsor in the game credit and on the on the on the supporter wall of our website additionally you'll receive the prestige elite uh, backer role on the on our community discord showing your exceptional support how are people getting away with this man Paying with a twelve thousand dollar donation you'll get what they call an unforgettable dinner with the founders of fantastic but all that aside let's be perfectly honest here this is the most laughable thing we've seen in years in gaming. They're actually saying that they need the community's help if they're going to revive Fantastic, and they even published a white paper outlining their desire to change. They've rebranded the company by changing the color palette of their logo, and they're now even preaching honesty, transparency, and professionalism, because apparently they didn't have that before. Oh, and they also have a new mission, and that's quote, our mission is to create games that'll be loved for decades. <laughs> and if you're interested in one of those games, here's the spiel for their new game, too. You play as life-weary workers trying to escape the vicious cycle of deadly factories from which there's no easy way out. Legend has it that only one great and mysterious individual has ever escaped. Team up with four to eight players for pure multiplayer, co-op, physics-based fun challenges. And finally, if they somehow raise $200,000, they'll make the game and bring it to all available platforms. Of course, it's hard to see them even making a percentage of that after what happened with the day before. Wait, but wait how much? $200,000. They'll make the game and bring it to all available platforms. 
so okay wait a minute one more time for multiplayer co-op physics-based fun challenges and finally if they somehow raise two hundred thousand dollars they'll make the game and bring it to all of so what the hell is the fifteen hundred dollars for escape factory physics based multiplayer co-op escape games set in a uh, dangerous uh factories for 48 players they're asking for once again uh oh, 15 15 000. That's asking for 15 000. but then if they reach 200 000, they will make the game what the hell is happening here what, what? <laughs> wait hold on you're asking for 50 once again this is in canadian dollars so 20 000, right but this is a this is a was that image so they're asking for 15 that's is ready is ready to make the strong return and yes it means we have we got stretch goals these stretch goals are designed to bring escape factory to life game launch secure for 20k steam deck version 50k console version ps5 100k for how are you <laughs> you're asking for 150k for free dlc nintendo switch version 200k because all right 250k each new click new each location has its own so, so it's gonna be the same music for each each area what the hell are you insane it's gonna be the same music for each area they have lost their minds 300k now free dlc which it can't be free because it was paid for new mode creator mode for 700k so I don't know where in that video they mentioned he said 200k. So that was wait, wait I, I was I heard that correctly, right? These look like assets that you get. Oh my god! This game requires a seventh gen Intel Core processor. You're telling me it costs 200k to throw it on the Switch, but that it's cheaper to do it? <laughs> oh boy! How much is the game? 20 bucks for the game. This is the this is the nuts part. 12,000 to meet the founders just so they can laugh in your face be like you gave us twelve thousand dollars you know i bet you someone can make this game cheaper i bet you i can't believe people actually paid uh, i want to hear this again I, I think he, he's just misinformed he missed the point has it that only one great and mysterious individual has ever escaped team up with four to eight players for pure multiplayer co-op physics-based fun challenges and finally, if they somehow raise two hundred thousand dollars, yeah, so that's that was wrong. When they raised twenty thousands, twenty, they'll make the game and bring it to all available platforms. So I guess okay, I guess two okay. Well, I, I see what he did there. Okay, never mind. Of course, it's hard to see them even making a percentage of that after what happened with the day before. But we'll see how far they're willing to take this. Leave a like on this video and let us know in the comments below what you think of Fantastic. This is the biggest scam, and you know what? Game and join the discussion it's so crazy that people will probably be willing to do it people are probably people are willing to just spend their money on nonsense and they just to see if it actually happens and then when it doesn't happen they'll be like well we got scammed again what a shocker i was a part of that scam like you know like it's, it, it's going to happen again and like i can't believe these guys are getting away like they're getting away with it they should be put in jail they should be sent to jail honestly this is absolutely insane insane this this cap this, i can't believe this insane you scam people the first time now you're back again be like yeah we deserve a second chance thinking that your own statement we deserve a second chance so you're gonna give us money you give us 15k why are you even asking for 15k now that i think about it why are you asking for 15k if the game launches 20 all right okay let me <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about this. Comments below. All right. <laughs> I can't, man.